A scientific study finds that your personality has a bigger impact on the type of music you like than any other factor. What does your mixtape say about you? It's not news that music can affect your mood. The typical medical waiting room has soothing songs to help ease tension and anxiety. Gyms pump in the upbeat, driving music to motivate people to get moving. And I like listening to melodramatic show tunes after a hard day. No judging. This is a safe space. But beyond affecting our moods, our musical tastes are linked to our personalities. And now we know that the two are more closely related than previously thought. Because science! A team of researchers from Stanford and the University of Cambridge conducted studies on musical taste and personality. But they almost immediately disregarded the concept of music genres. That's because genres are fuzzy categories that are really only useful to the music industry for marketing purposes. Within each genre, you'll find very different types of music. One song may have a faster beat and poppy lyrics, while another slows things down and challenges the listener with complex melodies, even though both songs are in the same genre. The team wanted to go a level deeper than genre, to the qualities that define Western music. They identified three broad dimensions of music. Arousal, valence, and depth. A song with an intense beat and driving music has a high rating in arousal. Valence is a term in psychology that refers to emotional reaction. Generally speaking, positive valence means the music is happy, and negative valence means the music is sad. And depth is a measure of a song's complexity. Simple tunes have low depth. The researchers conducted surveys in which 9,500 people listened to short clips of music unfamiliar to them. The subjects rated the clips, which represented a wide variety of music with different levels of arousal, valence, and depth. The subjects also took a personality test, and that's when the team saw how the same personality types gravitate toward music with similar levels of those three dimensions. According to the researchers, open-minded liberals gravitate toward complex music with high depth. The more neurotic among us tend to listen to high-intensity, emotionally negative tunes. Extroverts like me tend to like happy songs with positive valence, which is why I serenade the office with Walking on Sunshine at least once a month. Perhaps we'll be able to learn more about ourselves by taking a closer look at the music that moves us. And services like Spotify or Pandora could use this research to tweak recommendation algorithms so that you're more likely to hear stuff that appeals to you based on your personality. Beyond that, music can help improve physical and mental health. Who knows? Maybe in the future, the doc's prescription will read, listen to two Weezer albums and call me in the morning. While you fire up that Mastodon playlist and rock out, don't forget that we have some awesome videos and stories going up every day at now.howstuffworks.com. And also remember to subscribe to the How Stuff Works Now podcast so that you keep up with the coolest news happening right now.